Alright, hey guys, um, today in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the uh, PHP My Admin and the uh, domain to redirect to the VPS. Alright, so, not redirect, but uh, point to the VPS. Alright, so ba basically what I want you to do before this tutorial, go over to namecheap.com. Um, personally, I, I would prefer it over GoDaddy because it, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I mean. It's a lot cheaper in terms of, so I want to go CS X go tut. Uh, and then I have already got it here. Um, the prices are a, a lot higher in GoDaddy, uh, towards like Cisco tut. It's like, if you got the XYZ, it's like a dollar and everything. So, um, go over to Namecheap and buy yourself a domain. It's $1 for a whole year, which is a pretty, pretty good deal. So, um, I want you to do that. Then um, once you've you've done that, I want you to go over to your uh, uh what's it called uh, networking tab on DigitalOcean, and then go to domains. Oh shit! Go domains, and then uh, I'm gonna not remove that. Let me just quickly go up the IP because I've already bought a domain. Uh, I'm just gonna use that. So I just copy this. Go here. Uh, paste and then that should be all good all right so yeah now it's pointing to so basically what you want to do is uh to create a domain you just want to go to networking where is it there and then you want to you want to go to domains put your domain in so for example if it was six xyz that was my that's my domain and then you want to click here, uh, Droplet or Custom IP, and then you want to click on your uh, VPS and then click Create Record. When you've um, done this, you will get, uh, uh, let me just log in. All right, so now I've logged into Namecheap. You want to go down to uh, where your domain is, so you, you can go into your, basically your, your, uh, your dashboard. And then you go domainless, and you when you're in domainless, you'll see your domain. I'll go over here real quick, and then you want to click manage. Once you're in here, you want to go down, scroll down, just where you see name servers. A default, it will be on Namecheap Basic DNS. I'm pretty sure. What you want to do is click custom DNS, and then you want to go over to where you your uh, domain is on, or your uh, yeah, domain settings and duration, and copy all three of these, including the full stop at the end, and putting them into here and basically you just want to click save and then event like okay wait like maybe 10 20 minutes and it should be all saved and then once you're done that you should have your uh, oh wait no you won't have this i don't think oh, i know you probably will be yeah, it will be pointing to it all right so now we've done that we'll continue with the uh what is it the setting up the php my admin for your website all right so uh, what was my password i think that was it yeah there we go um so all right first of all what you want i want you guys to do i'll put this into the description you want to copy this big massive command into the uh to the console this will just like solve a few issues with the uh uh real website you just want to let that run through. I'm pretty sure what this actually does is save the, uh, the, the it's like the avatar photos and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite, uh, can't really remember, but yeah, you want to type that, you want to type that all in. I don't know how long this tutorial is going to go for today. So just bear with me. All right. Now what you want to do is go to, uh, uh, slash. Uh, etc. You basically just want to restart the. Uh, uh, what am I doing? The Apache server. Alright, so you restart the Apache server. Alright, so now we're gonna get onto installing the PHP my admin. So what you wanna do? Oh shit! <laughs> Wrong one. I'm gonna put this full screen. So you go. Actually, no, nah, I won't put that full screen. What I do is go apt get install. PHP my admin. Sorry about this. 
Alright, so you wanna Y, oh, Y obviously. Everything just do Y. Alright, so now you'll get this. What you wanna do is you wanna click space, and then you wanna click tab, and then space again. So basically you're selecting Apache 2. Uh, and then space, space, click OK. Alright, so here, what you wanna do is click tab, and then space. So you wanna select no. And then once you've done that, you can now go to your domain, uh, csxgo, uh, php, uh, my admin. And yeah, now you should be your php, my admin. Uh, basically, you want to log in to the credentials you set as your root, and everything should be okay. Alright. Now that we've done that, so yeah, everything should be okay, and yeah, obviously you have PHP my admin now. What you want to do? You want to go to your FileZilla. Sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. Um, just pause the video if you're, or like put in slow, I guess. Like, if you're getting mixed up with stuff. Alright. So, uh, you want to go down to the www folder in var, and uh. You just want to delete this info.php. You don't need it. All right, now what you want to do, this is a script that you have downloaded from my first video about the thing. And you want to copy everything into the folder except the bot. You don't, you don't need to copy the bot into it. Okay. All right, uh, we'll set the bot later, like in a future tutorial. Okay, so now that's all done. What you want to do is straight away, uh, you want to just delete the csgo.sql file. You don't need that. And what you want to do is go over to prices here, uh, right click it and go to file permissions and make this 777 and then okay. Then you want to go up to uh, cache and then file permissions, make that 777. And you want to uh, check this uh, box right here and that should be all good. Um, uh, okay, so now we can go over to our website and you, yeah, you should be getting this, this error. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to your FileZilla, go up, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, no, so ETC, you want to go to ETC. Um, from there you want to go to, I'll go through here, Apache 2. Uh, sites available and then you want to go to default and then right click and view slash edit and basically you just want to edit this folder with uh, I'll put it into the description but really all you need to do is go to here and put all and then that's really what you're gonna do just because it's like right in front of me, I'm just gonna get this and wait. Alright. Oop. Sorry about this. I'm just gonna do that. But yeah, all you wanna do is type all there. That's really what you need to do. But for start off saying, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And then. Basically, just gonna upload it back, and you should be fine. Has it uploaded back? Hmm. Oh, sorry. What? Fuck. You need to restart the Apache server. So restart that. With that. And uh, okay, this error is okay. That should all be working. I just had to work it out. Um, the reason it wasn't working is because the DNS was not flushed on my end, so uh, I had to go through a whole effort of fixing all that. But now it should be all fixed. Um, so we. What did we do when we last? So I just cut like a massive bit out of the footage. Um, 
and we last did we set it up and we fixed the internal server issue let me just close all these open it up again and it should be maybe fine I don't know uh, it won't be fine but if I go on any other device like just have my iPad or my laptop to my side it will work perfectly um, wait Oh no, um, it should be, like, if I go to Microsoft Edge, it should be all fine. It's just, I'm pretty sure it's just going to give me the issue on, uh, yeah, see, uh, it's all fine. Uh, it's just Chrome's giving me the issue. Uh, anyway, so if you, if you get this issue, make sure to just go down to, um, CMD and go ipconfig slash flush DNS and it'll flush your DNS, uh, and then... Everything will renew. Anyway, so what we want to do now is we're going to go to the... Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to go for too long. Alright, we're going to... F I'll do the next the bit of the tutorial on um, how to install the uh, MySQL. Uh, install a MySQL. Oh, fuck, it's not going to work on you. Uh, edge. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sorry about these issues. I've got to flush uh, the DNS for fucking. Oh, uh, what was the password? I've got to flush the DNS for uh, Chrome. Alright, next uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the uh, uh, SQL on uh, PHP MyAdmin. But for now, um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, tomorrow, in another tutorial will be coming out on how to do everything I just said. Uh, yeah, have a nice day.